Welcome, one and all, whoever may be watching this, this is The Invincible. Um, based on an iconic novel, apparently. I have never heard of this iconic novel or this series or anything in particular. I just saw it on Steam and was like, hey, sci-fi, I love sci-fi. Uh, so I was very keen to play it when it came out, which it's just dropped. Um, the telco provider that we are currently using has had a nationwide outage and I'm just mentioning that uh, just as like a historical reference I guess but also I don't know when this series will uh, will be out I don't know when I'll be able to upload it um, or sort of when everything will get sorted I'm also playing this offline so I'm not sure how that's going to affect things either, but I just, I really wanted to play it. So I was like, I'm not going to wait for Optus to get its act together. Let's just do this. Let's get into this. Um, so let's just go ahead and do that. I know squat all about this, um, aside from it being sci-fi and set on some kind of planet. Um, outside of that, I don't really know anything else, which is par for the course when it comes to me playing games. <laughs> so let's say what happens. All right, I'm assuming we're on the Dragonfly. So the Dragonfly, a small research unit of the Interplanetary Commonwealth with a crew of six, travels the distant regions of space. After visiting many worlds and exploring numerous planets, the research mission comes to an end. However, on the way home, there's one more task waiting for the crew. Despite the risk, Astrogator Novik undertakes the extraction of a rare and extremely valuable mineral himself. Novik gets the mineral, but at the cost of a broken leg and immense pain. The Astrogator's accident doesn't stop the crew from happily celebrating the end of the research cycle. It was a time of creating deep bonds and feeling unstoppable. Victorious, they set course for home and go for a well-deserved rest in the hibernation chambers. Where am I? Oh my heck. Marit? Anybody? Okay, so it's telling me W for movement. Let's do that, I guess. I might have to adjust the volume. It's quite quiet for me, but I've also got just everything turned down. But I might have turned it down all a bit too much. Uh, okay, hold spacebar. I'm assuming that's to chat. Oh, hold it. Whoops. <laughs> uh, okay, but how do I, how do I choose what to say? Oh the oh the mouse wheel far out. I hate that as a control. And then do I have to press it? Oh maybe I just left let go of spacebar. Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, Cobble? Marit? Uh, hey, this is Yasna. I was just with you. And now I don't know where I am. Or how I got here. I've got a splitting headache. Does anyone hear me? Base, do you copy? Are you there? I know she's like freaking out a little bit, but I'm just enjoying being on a alien planet. Look at this mess. Okay, movement again. Let's do it. No damage to the suit or bone structure. Just <clears throat> this headache. Well, I feel like a headache isn't a good thing. Oh, 
bollocks. So we got someone for five seconds. Uh, uh, I can hear you. I can't hear you anymore. My receiver worked for a moment, but now there's only silence. Well, hold on, you're not going to fiddle around with it, see if you can get it working again? I'm assuming this is like the tutorial. Damn it, I've lost my beacon. Where is it? I wish I knew what it was. I have two solid hectobars in the tank. That's enough for several hours. Okay, but several hours could mean anything. I thought nothing. <laughs> I'm on my own. The beacon can't be detected either. Is that some kind of life sign detector? Are we going all xenomorph aliens on this mess? There aren't many supplies, which would suggest a quick recce. Or was it just the end of the mission? See if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Or am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. We took two landers to the surface. We don't usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. That's weird. And the other one, just me, took a different route. Leading to... I was heading straight to the camp. Yeah, okay, it says top, top priority, get to camp. You must be somewhere near. I can't just wait here. I just need to get a sense of my surroundings. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> you didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like... I need to stop doing this. Hey, crocodile. Where are you? Uh, okay. I'm assuming it would be this one. Because it had, like, open jaws. That has an interesting shape. Of a crocodile indeed. Yeah, I can problem solve. <laughs> we have the first one. I need one more. Uh, well, let's go with the needle, because I think that was right next to it. Needle. Yeah, right there. Right. It resembles the eye of a needle. Oh, and there's dog. I see it. I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. How did she establish her position? I'm confused, but alright, let's go. I don't actually know where we're going, but let's go. Oh, footprints. Let's follow those. She has nothing to say about footprints in the sand. 
I'm not leaving any footprints. Ah! Um, how do I check? Huh. I think I see our ship. You're not leaving without me, are you? How do I check the map? Okay, so camp is between the dog and the crocodile, if we can even go through there. Let's just head in a this way direction and we'll see what the game does. <laughs> oh, hey. More dropped equipment. I must have hit the ground pretty hard. Yeah, okay, so it's not that we ejected from the spaceship and this is where she's crash landed. Oh no, I am leaving footprints, hey. Uh, oh, and there's my shadow. Um, it, she was obviously out here looking for something. The metal detector. Oh, that's to go with... Dr. Korsky, you won't be pleased. More equipment to repair. The detector's dead. Guess I shouldn't just leave it like this. Broken or not. Okay, so we just found something. I'm in a canyon. Which doesn't make it easy to navigate. I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by. Um... So if we found something, that obviously means we're going in the right direction. Is my interpretation. <laughs> Hold on, it was telling me T for tracker. Give me a second. Oh, I have something on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. Warm. Oh, water reservoir? Warm. Hold on. How do I... Hold on, put the tracker away, love. For me on your trackers. Yeah, I like flashing lights. Oh gosh, she's humming and everything. It's okay, we can have silence. I honestly believe it's possible. Huh. There's water on this desert planet. Well, hold on, how do we know it's water? Or another liquid that did not allow the biosynosis to form. It won't be easy to replenish drinking supplies. Not without tests. Filtration. Good. As we all remember, third rule. Oh, flashback time. I was about to. Already awake. Good. <gasps> yes, ma'am? Hmm? Yeah, I don't know if you're awake, whether it's a post-hibernation apraxia. No, I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake. Just slowly. Now, try to get up slowly. Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. Here, take it and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. In small sips. Always the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. She's an android. That's how it goes in these stories. <laughs> Kovel, will you help me here? Sure, I'm coming. This is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yasna, look for yourself. This is not the right planet. 
You shouldn't be walking yet. Koval, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Crow. Astrogator. The baking chamber in 15 minutes. Uh, this can't be good. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it and remember. I mean, I appreciate that they take hydration seriously in the future. Okay. Moving on. Now, I'm not sure how amazing the graphics are supposed to be in this game. Uh, so, either things are supposed to look ten times better than they do, or... And it's just my sort of potato of a PC struggling here or this is how it's supposed to look I really have no frame of reference let's avoid the giant crevice no time to lose I wonder what would happen if I did just walk her into that <laughs> the end game over towards the camp. Yay! Oh, the cliff. Well, I can't go yeah, this way. Yeah, just jump. Um, oh, maybe we need to... Okay, fine. Be that way. Can she run? Yes, she can. Nope. No, she can't. I mean, if we climb down into the valley... Time to go. Time to go? Time to go where? On some planets, such storms last for several hundred days. I hope there's not one of them. Okay, I think I might have done it. Maybe. Let's not hold our breath. Well, stop it with your humming. You're like trying to figure out what's going on. You're just humming away. Sweet, sweet tunes. This area is volcanically active. Ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. How do you... But it's all just... too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky is clear. And the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren. How is she making these observations? <laughs> Continue marching towards the camp. All right, I can march. I think I might have taken her the wrong way. Yep. <laughs> oh no, okay, we can go this way, I guess. We 
be fantastic if we were just doing a giant circle right now. Okay, I can't see what's there, but I'm glad she can. Good work. meters in a straight line I, I see you can you hear me you might need to yell a bit need to get down from here oh okay we've got two edges that goes down a slope that is a giant drop let's do the slope It's about 10 meters high. It looks like I could slide down. Is there something at the bottom of that, though? Like, is that a crevice? All right. I want to see you as soon as possible. I'll take your chance. Uh-oh, I've just murdered her or something. But, like, it's either that or she does a vertical jump. <laughs> oh, shit, shit. <sighs> no, it's just a dark patch of soil. That was less than ideal. What? What do you mean? I'm okay. The suit's fine too. It was a slope. They're not the most dangerous thing in this world. I think this is the way I'm supposed to be going. We definitely have a sandstorm moving on in, which is not a great sign. Visibility could be better. Uh, you might want to hide behind a rock at least. Game over, man. Game over. Recoup. I was heading to right there. Impossible. I'm much closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. But I don't remember it. Did, did I black out again? Oh, so as in like she doesn't remember what we've just done? Because walking through that sandstorm, the camp wasn't that far away for her to be like, oh, I must have walked far. This is probably where, um, having read the story would have helped me. And hop up closer to the camp. Find a place to land. I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Okay, so, uh... Go to the infirmary. Issue is... And do a full set of tests on myself. Hopefully we go up again on the other side of whatever this valley is. Okay, so sprint kind of works for five seconds. So just, you know, take in the scenery and the vibes. What on earth could be going on right now? Or what on Regis 3 could be going on right now? Don't burn the bright sun. Don't let the night. 
Okay, I'm going to forgive her humming and singing because she's obviously not in the best frame of mind right now. Okay, R three O three. Oh, Astrogator, sir. Crew, Doctor Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes, and yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? Virtually zero. In the world of paradise, no radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were, don't you? I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought intolerant evolution occurred here. Mm, that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Mm. Anyway. We'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analysis? Oh, it's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis III is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? Oh, the Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. No. Oh. I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. The steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean, together with its crew of almost a hundred men, professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. They are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this? 
together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff. Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cole. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage, feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry, not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Arty to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you two. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator! Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, if any. So how did I end up on the planet? Oh, I was ordered to stay. What the hell am I doing here? Asking all the right questions. So I know this is very much a story-driven game. Well, like a narrative driven game, so I'm curious to see what happens. Oh, thank goodness. Not everyone's in the field. Alright, somehow we've got to get up to them. I'm a bit sad it doesn't ping. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Oh, okay. Android bot. Oh, it's just an Android bot. Hello. Android bot. Android bot, guide me to the nearest crew member. Androbot, guide to people. Androbot, locate human. I'm reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Cause unknown. Hello? Anyone here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right there. Hey, person. Talk to them. Marit! It's Yasna! I, I came for you! Oh, Dr. Crowter! Didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor. Is everything all right? Yeah, get out. <laughs> Doctor, please, look at me. I report that I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Temperature normal. Pulse too. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. Unless they drank the water. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. The water. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? 
you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. You didn't have it easy. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing one, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the Doctor's life is not in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor? Both mental illness and serious bodily injury could contribute to this condition. However, he wasn't suffering from any disorders. And there's nothing wrong with him physically. Epileptic seizure and chronic diseases can also be ruled out. So what? He's just fine? On the contrary. Something is very wrong with him, and I can't figure out what. Which is even more worrying. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lander. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hopper long ago. Please look for the mission log. Should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. It's totally the water. Oh, we can't go that way. All right. Uh, at some point, I'll have to end this video. It's just a matter of when we get a quick save. Not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowther kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Initial analysis of the samples revealed nickel, iron, manganese, beryllium, and titanium in the composition. I would give a lot to understand what it actually is. Quick theory, a giant nickel iron meteor splashed into the atmosphere of Regis III melting its surface millions of years ago. No, wait, scratch that. The shape of the structures contradicts this. Hmm. Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. We followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowther had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broke. <laughs> Touche, sir. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. 